Kinemaster. Master. Welcome back to Master and Kinemaster for part two of three of the amazing Kinemaster multi clone technique coming to you live from Arizona in a place that has nothing to do with what we're working on. Just, just that I'm just here. That I'm just, that I'm just Today, we're going to learn how to set up our shoot and get camera rolling. We're also going to do a little Kinemaster technique at the end. What I want to do right now is show 10 seconds of the video in case you haven't seen it. If you like my stuff, like and subscribe. Let's watch these 10 seconds and get shooting. This is the shoot tutorial. First, you're gonna learn what you need from a location and how to pick one. Second, you're gonna learn how to set manual focus on your camera, which you have to do. Don't be scared. Third, you're gonna learn how to set the shoot location up. And fourth, you're gonna learn how to do your walks, your clothing changes, and your fun part of it. If you're ready, let's get going. Let's talk about location. Number one, shadow free. This is a horrible day. I reset up to show you the pattern, but when the shadows throw from the people, it messes up your layers. Don't do it. Cloudy day or in front of a building where the shadow is going down and all the motion happens in the dark shady part in a complete shaded area that's the best bet indoors is tough because indoor lights generally throw shadows your object space can be anything it could be a building that has a couple of doors where the shades coming this way you can go in and out of and around you could use a car with tinted windows so you could go in and out of you could be creative with it and set all kinds of things up but just remember in the shade and not in a sandy or muddy area because also you don't want your footprints moving around and changing over the course of time asphalt is great firm dirt and that kind of stuff now we got to set our camera to manual and I'm going to walk you step by step through it and you have to, and you have to, you have to do it or else colors will shift during the shoot. The edit will be bad and you won't be happy. So let's go ahead and Android go to pro video on Mac. It's something similar. I just don't know exactly, but all we're doing is we're going to turn it on to pro video, point it at the shoot right before you're about to shoot. It'll select levels and then we're going to lock them to manual so they won't change. So the first one we look at is this exposure and we change it just by pressing the automatic to manual and we are done now that may have changed iso by itself but look at iso and we do the same thing if it says automatic we change that by hitting it and changing it to manual with focus we open up focus and we actually need to move the focus slider we really want to move it almost to the top, maybe one below. The little green lines means everything's in focus. And then that sets that to manual. And the last one is with color temperature. Again, we need to touch this line. And as soon as you touch the line, then it will change it to manual and you are locked and ready to shoot. So let's get doing that. Maybe the most important thing in the project, stable tripod, 10 minutes of video and the camera cannot move. It almost everything up you won't be happy make believe it's not this sunny harsh day tripod stool van the sky cam up in the drone is going to show us what the distances are let's take it to the skies the blue circle represents the center of your vehicle and the center of the shot the yellow lines are the same distance so measure the distance to the front or back of your car and that's how far away you should put your stool or your chair the green line is twice as far away and that goes to where the camera is not the tripod front but the camera lens this sets up a shot with the two blue lines on the side being where the camera no longer sees the orange x's are where you can change your clothes and the red Red lines are the no-go areas where you should never walk because we'll talk about that in a second. But now let's move into the most important shot and we'll look at that from the ground. Let's talk about the real trick shot. The guy in the center, when he walks up, he can be moving however he wants. When you sit down, there is a force field around the outer rim of your body that you will not move. Your head won't tilt, so pre-tilt your head, but your hands can be moving, your mouth can be moving, you can be writing on paper, your eyes can move slightly, but that will likely move your head, so keep the motion in here. This is the critical thing. 20 to 30 seconds of this because that's the distractive motion that will be going on. When you get up to walk away, it's a separate clip and you are good to go. That's the trick shot. Now for what I think 
think is the most fun part is doing the clones. Number one rule, do not walk in front of the chair. Always walk diagonally through to the behind. You can walk back and forth, back in there, get out of the door, come this way, but just don't walk in front of the chair. 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 All right, uh, number two, have your outfit plans in the corners. Plan this in advance and in the corners of front. Just go change the outfit and make another walk. You can either do one big long video or if you have a Bluetooth remote, then do it in separate videos, but you don't want the camera moving around. So touching it fewer times is better. Lastly, do more than less. So you won't like some of the walks and you don't want to refilm it. So do 15 of them instead of seven of them. You'll be happier with it. All right. So I think that's all you need to know to get out there and make your videos. And then we'll come back and check out how to put it together. I forgot to do a conclusion. So I'm doing it at night to get this out for you guys tomorrow morning. As a note, the final editing video is going to be as intense as what you just watched. You've got to know clips and layers. You've got to know how to use chroma key even though there's no green screen. You've got to know how to use the cropping tool and just basically a mid-advanced level of KineMaster use. I'll put tutorials, links up, but I don't want you disappointed by going out and filming and thinking it's going to be super easy and get disappointed. So get ready to work on it, but I think that it's a really fun project and I think you'll have a good time. And if you do it, I'm going to put them up on this channel as a reel. So I will see you the next time in the next couple of days to get the editing version out, uh, get your shooting done, and I'll see you back here. Can the master.